You guys ready? Let's I'm get ready. it going. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the SUP Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Luke Trevisi. With me, as always, I got my boys here. I got Lawrence Deloach on my, ri- my right. What's going on? And I got Chris Cheney on my left. Yurt. Oh, boys, how are we doing today? <laughs> it's been a rough doing, week. Doing great. I'm I'm disgusted and embarrassed. Um, uh, and watching it in real time made me realize we are living in the most fucked up of times. Oh yeah, it's really fucked up. 2020 immediately retroed itself and <laughs> it just became- continued forward with this bullshit. Thought we were out the gate with tw- a fresh start, and then week two, we're ten days in. So it's a very bold drop by Nike <laughs> <laughs> to drop twenty twenty again. Damn. Oh man. I I just watch. You know, I feel like we we live in such so we're we're in such a divided, you know, fractured time in this country. But at the same time, the shit that was pulled at the the Capitol building uh, made me so upset about how this this president that you know has you know less than you know like a week or and a half left how he's just fucking turned this country into a a shithole at times and it's it's fucking upsetting oh yeah it's real upsetting and there's a bunch of other really shitty news this week we're going to talk about we're going to talk about uh kim and kanye a little bit later we got to talk about the dunk travesty of 2021 yeah there's a lot uh, of these. Exactly. We got some new we got some exciting stuff coming as well. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Street Hawkers, some Supreme Dunks as well. Uh-huh, uh, uh-huh. We're pretty excited. But, you know, what you should do, first of all, is you should uh, you should follow podcast on Instagram, Twitter, yep. podcast NYC. You can follow me at Trevisus on Instagram and Twitter. Chris Cheney at not that Cheney on Instagram and Twitter. And Lawrence Z- LZD325 on uh, Instagram and Twitter as well. So you should follow all of us and you could tell us exactly how you feel about all this stuff. We also have a discord jump in the discord as well. I oh, just yeah, wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, let's yeah. talk about those riots, man. Man, fuck those fucking those cornball disgrace incel you know, <laughs> Reddit son of a I was so yo, I was watching this shit and I was just I couldn't believe my eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I was training at my new job. It like so like we're at work from home so we're like training in like video sessions and then we'll jump into a zoom call and everybody's got their video on and they're all just like are, are, are we not allowed to talk about this because this is some fucking crazy shit happening right now yeah yeah it was fuck. it was embarrassing it they was they smeared feces on the wall bro they were there's there's they were stealing laptops from you know from like they stole nancy pelosi's laptop they Yo, they those- stole her stand Bro. <laughs> the guy walked out with the whole stand. It is the boldness of these people that thought that they can do this because their quote unquote leader instructed them to do this, basically. And they thought there was going to be no repercussions. Like they were just going to fucking do this. And I mean, people lost their lives in there, man. Yeah. Yeah. That one, the police officer, there was that one chick. I mean, that chick got. <laughs> I can't... I... It's almost like. You can't make this shit up. Yeah, it's yeah. cartoonish. It's cartoonish. It's like it's crazy. Now, guys, listen, I'm gonna say this. We're we're a fashion streetwear podcast, and it wouldn't be right for us to just talk about this without making fun of these fucking idiots in the outfits and the fucking sh- shitty stuff that they wore to storm the Capitol. That's right. That's and right. I saw a lot of fucked up. Like if I like me personally, if I put myself and granted, I'm not an idiot like them. If I'm storming the Capitol, my outfit is going to be fucking fly as fuck. All right. That's, <laughs> That's number right. one. What do you wear? I, what shoes are you wearing? <laughs> Storm the Capitol. I got to wear. You have I gotta, to wear Yeezys. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't wearing Yeezys. I'm wearing some <laughs> shit. That like that. That's good for all terrain, and I can you know I, like if I get stepped on, I'm good. I'm wearing phone pauses in that bitch. Like I'm wearing something heavy. <laughs> And we we in there, bro. I ain't wearing no, I ain't wearing nothing too spiffy. But at the same time, yo, like some some Gore Tex, some ACG, some Thames. <laughs> but I'm wearing foam posits in that motherfucker. I was gonna, I was straight up wore foams. All uh, black Air Forces. I was gonna, <laughs> yeah, I wear ACGs to climb the wall, and then I take off that pair and put on the the black Air Forces <laughs> when I get inside the building. 
Well, you, I guess you, all red forces. All red forces? <laughs> yeah, with white laces. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that dude, that like, you don't understand. Like, if I'm, like I said, if I'm storming the Capitol, I'm not wearing the shit that these clowns wore. Like, I'm just not, bro. Like, like there was the, what, the Viking man? Yeah, you there's, don't want to wear an ox hide? Yeah. There's Viking man. There's so many good, like, there's so many shitty outfits from, from this stuff. Like, this one right here with the ox guy. The, the ox dude. Yeah. Like, bro. That guy ain't never working again. No. The, the, the obviously, we, what we did see a picture of a dude dripped out in some Yeezys. Yeah, this, this guy, guy right here. He's he, yo, my man. Got look at that fit. Yeah. Now, honestly, I, now listen. I, I'm not. I mean, once again, I, I wouldn't be caught dead wearing what this clown was wearing. But at the same time, he was very fashionable, and I'm and I'm <laughs> sure some of those guys questioned his sexuality when they saw what he was wearing to the cat. They're like, dude, you're gonna wear that fucking city boy outfit? Like, I'm sure that's what they were. <laughs> they were shitting on him, and he's like, look, I'm with you, brothers. Like, you know, what I mean, it just looks bad. <laughs> Yeah, he's wearing joggers, um, a I don't know, some sort of tan colored hoodie. Mm -hmm. It's like it's an everyday outfit in, in the city. Just not here, man. The guy but, all the way on the right does have like a yay outfit, though, like that uh, that army oh, fatigue. Oh, you're talking about this guy with the with the beanie on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And notice we got we got a lot of boots, a lot of <laughs> boots in the building. <laughs> Not, you know, we've got, besides this guy, absolutely no drip coming from anyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, listen, if anyone stepped on his foot, if you've ever wore a pair of Adidas Yeezys, you're going to feel that shit. Like, I'm not trying to And that's feel... why that's a rookie move for a riot. Total rookie move. Well, no, but you know what? Like, he was one of the first people to get over the wall. He must have been spry because he didn't have the boots on, you know? He had that, that boost technology. <laughs> <laughs> Boosted him over the wall. And then the rest of the guys pretty much just look like, you know, people from like Night of the Juggalo stuff. Oh, come on, man. It's all, all that Trump merch. That shit me. Oh, I sold this. I don't even know how you trust the plan. Ooh. Yo. Ooh, who do they think they are? The Philadelphia 76ers and trust the process. Get the fuck out of here. with. <laughs> I, hate, I hate these people. I hate, these people have no original ideas at all. It's just stealing other people's shit. Yo, fuck out of here. I'm I'm pissed, man. Let, let, I don't even want to talk about that, man. It's fucking. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Well, you know, you know where we could go just to get off of that. You know, the, the country is obviously in a divide. And so might be Kim and Kanye. Bump, bump, bump. Um, I can't imagine what Kim's DMs look like right now. Um, I also can't imagine what the music studio is like with Ye, uh doing 808s and Heartbreaks, too. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm ready. I don't know it. what it's like, but I mean, we all kind of knew this was coming at some point. Right. Like we knew that the, the shit was like fucked up and they were, you know. If Kanye do an 808 part two, it's going to be all Jesus music. And I don't know if I can like really fully get behind an 808 part two. I need 808 part two with like like the original 808s. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like I yep. can't I, like I can't like he's like he's such a washed up artist. And I hate to use that term as a guy who's, you know, so, who's been so great consistently throughout the, the early part of his career. But like it just feels like kind of, musically, I don't, I don't think he's got anything in the tank, man. He's got a bunch of un uh, unreleased stuff because of like sample problems, like all of the. But that's all heat from like back in the day. That's all mm -hmm. he's got left. Mm -hmm. That there, there was like a weird rumor that him and uh, a drag queen like linked up, but uh, she came out and was like, nah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was somebody in her. It was like somebody in. I think his name is Jeffrey Star. Yeah, so Jeffrey that Star. dude, his camp it was like some chick from his camp that was like releasing like the 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 like rumors from like TikTok. Mm -hmm. It was like okay, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna believe this, you know. <laughs> That's where. Why can't I get it from a respectable news source like TMZ? <laughs> yes, which is honestly one of the more honest <laughs> news outlets at the moment, which is crazy. Listen, TMZ broke the news about Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace. They yeah. were the ones. They always get that shit first, man. I don't know. They have like plants everywhere, man. That shit oh, is crazy. Totally. I mean, they, they broke the Dr. Dre story. You know what I mean? They both yes. Did. So yeah. shout out to Dr. Dre and his camp. I mean, 
how crazy is it that we live in a time where like there's riots going on at, at the Capitol building and then people find out that Dr. Dre had like a what was it, a heart attack? It's like some aneurysm. No, no, right? he had a brain aneurysm. Brain yeah. aneurysm, right? And then they just go to his house and try to take his shit. That's well, that crazy. would be that would be the time to do it, you know. I know, it, but it's crazy. Yeah, it is. But I, I, I'm just like what I am looking forward to with the whole Kim and if, you know, if it goes through, because I've heard, you know, plenty of times there's been rumors of celebrities getting yeah. divorces and it doesn't go through. But I'm, I just I know Kanye, he's going to go on one of those rants that he does all the time. And that Twitter rant would be epic. Yes, it will. Oh, he's going to he's going to divulge all the Kardashian secrets. That's what it is. Yes. The what Chris is doing and Kim and, you know, close like he's going to be a leaky faucet. Oh, and I'm here. I'm here for it. Me too. Very excited for that. Yes, I do want to. I do kind of want to move on from this uh, because I had I personally had my heart broken this week once again by Nike. When uh, when they released the custom dunks at 12 o'clock. Join the club. <laughs> uh, it was, it was, it was actually kind of like smart the way they did it. So, like you know, we just to you know repeat what we are, had already said. Um, mm-hmm. We said that it was going to sell out immediately. Yeah. Right. Like that wasn't a surprise. Um, we said that everyone's going to make the colorways of the dunks they didn't get. Right. Right. What we didn't guess is that they were going to let people design and not order them immediately. So they had all the free advertising of people just doing their, making their own colorways. Yep. Yeah. And then posting them, just talking about them. Hashtag, yo, Nike SB actually tweeted out like, yo, stop tagging us. Which is hilarious. Yo, also, (laughs) I want to shout out uh, Ebony Denise on on Instagram because she fucking, she said, I like the first and the third design. Like we had put our our designs on on Instagram (laughs) and she was like, I like the first and the third. And I was like, yo, what the fuck, fam? Like, mine was the second one. Like, you ain't like, (laughs) like I was feeling the way. I was like, oh, so everyone just likes everyone's design except for Lawrence's. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if you're listening to this, like, I just want you to know that you could have just been like, they all was fucking flames. (laughs) Instead of like you know shitting like you kind of shit on my my design which I I peeped it but I wasn't gonna like you know start an argument with a with a listener and a fan of of sub podcast but if you out there and you hear this next time you just say all of them are hot all right <laughs> oh that shit is so funny god right. damn I mean everybody was doing that shit though I had uh everybody was sending me their shit I didn't ask for it like I was just getting yeah. DMs like yo what you think about this I'm like yo if you like it that's cool but like I'm not asking I'm not here to like rate your shit you know what I mean but it was it was fun to play around you know what I mean yeah well that's that's the that's the upsetting thing and I think you know Nike put it on you know the website what was it Monday I believe you know the or Monday and everyone's like designing all these things and and you know people have 15 you know ids in their you know in their customized in their locker or whatever and then come thursday at like 11 59 12 o'clock all of the designs just go away you understand what i'm saying so you 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 did all this stuff for the week and then you got nothing gone you hope you take that screenshot you know what i mean because you would you gotta quickly go back i remember yo i was talking actually one of our comedian friends and they were like, "What? What's up with the dunks? Everyone's doing dunks. Everyone's posting dunks." I'm like, "Oh, eventually it's gonna like come out that like you know you can buy them, but they're like letting people like fuck around." And like as I said that, because I went to go show him the website, I was like, "Yo, I'll show you mine." And then like they're up, and I'm like, "Oh shit, hold on, I gotta cop these." And then immediately they're gone. <laughs> like, it was, it was worse than it was worse than a sneakers loss, just because like you had the anticipation, where, like you invested time into it because you were like yep. thinking and like mm-hmm. you know we did the thing like yours was spider-man right yeah yeah so like you know we were putting thoughts into it we were talking about like yo we should have a contest where they send us the best dunk and we'll give them a hoodie whatever like you know we're thinking about all this shit and mm-hmm. it was gone before i even could like consider more, more des- you know what i mean like i was just like yo this is crazy it's just gone yeah mm-hmm. it hurt but that but that's what nike wants oh yeah you, you know you're telling me you're this billion dollar corporation or whatever and you can't have a a website run with high traffic with no crashing like this shit like crashed yeah and it became a and and then it's just like 
you know, Nike knows like they don't they don't announce it. They don't they don't announce a release date. It's kind of just speculation. It's like, oh, yeah, it's going to go live this day. But everyone on the inside knows. And it's just this is like this is this was just like the cactus plant flea market Air Force One drop. And I remember I remember the same thing, like being hyped. And I'm like, all right, I'm you know, you're going to get a pair. And I had this idea of how I wanted to customize it. And by the time like I got a pair, it was a simple black and white pair because I couldn't I couldn't even get through. And then every people were getting this shit canceled left and right. Yeah. So it's like yeah. this is this is gar because all it does is it just continues to drum up hype for for Nike. What's more disgusting than I think the actual uh release in the you know the website and all that other stuff is the people that actually managed to get their uh custom dunks and then try to resell them for four hundred dollars oh that shit hurts yo if you think anyone's buying your busted ass fucking dumb custom dunk you are out of your mind look at 380 dollars what is wrong with you dog for black toes well hold on i'm gonna say this this is hold on all right uh, if Nike does not release release another, like if they don't create more uh, custom, you know, uh, Nike ID, Nike by you pairs, those three fifty four people are gonna pay for it. I guarantee you. I guarantee you because of the way the release went, people are going to do it. Now, will I do it? Absolutely not. But will people do it? And depending on how the quality of these are, when you know people get them in hand, yeah, I can see it. I, we're yeah. in we're in that time where you know every dunk is just i guess the greatest thing ever it's so crazy i really wanted to make my own pair of warren lotus dunks mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I wanted it so bad i had that ready and then i was i did see if anyone was like trying to sell those because <laughs> that's what i wanted to do i didn't really want them i wanted them to like just joke around and pretend to sell <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, if you were actually buying that shit, I don't know, man. That that shit is crazy. I mean, and this is just this is the first week of 2021, bro, and we're already dunks are are, are fucking being ID'd and selling out in rapid times. We still got some great releases coming out this month. Yeah. Yeah, in a couple days on the 14th, we we have 5 that come out, three lows, two highs. Uh, I mean, even just to move forward a little bit and kind of like touch on some of the releases, we got Fujiwara's doing three. Yep. Um, there was the uh, uh, the street one. Street um, Hawkers. Street Hawkers. The SBs yep. are coming out. Yep. I mean, it, are there any that you guys are looking forward to? I mean, you guys obviously know I'm interested in the Fujiwara ones, but I'm not kind of like, what, there's only one pair of those I like. Hmm. I'm interested in the street hawkers. I think they're I, the only thing I don't like is obviously I don't like the mitch, mismatch yeah. uh, of the sneaker, but I do think it's a great idea. It was, came out executed well. Just I don't like mis- mismatch, but that there's the the ambush uh, fuchsia dunks. That yeah, are the fuchsia out. ones coming out. Yeah, and they I guess there's a royal blue too that is rumored to come out. So, you know, we're seeing those. Um, we, we have, there. I mean, they know what they're doing. And then the big one is the fucking, we just saw Supreme official images one. of the Supremes. Yeah. yeah. Which, Luke, I think you're all over that one, right? I really like those, of course. Uh, I I remember being on, on, uh, on record and saying I didn't like the brown ones the most. I think Lawrence was the one who said he liked them the, like the most. And dude, the Supreme ones, the brown ones are nice they look really good i think i think at the you know i think the brown i mean they're all you know they all have good re- redeeming qualities i mean obviously they're, they're not going to be like the first the high tops back in 03 with the you know with the red and orange but they're those are very solid yeah this like kind of beef jerky color it mm-hmm. works for it i don't know why but it does yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think I was on those either. Um, but they look better in these official images. But I'm still like, the, you got to go black on this one, to me. Well, that's what everyone's favorite color is—the black colorway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, that I- one's just the cleanest out of all of them, just because you know you can wear it with anything. But I mean, like even that maroon one's not bad, you know? Yeah. I mean, what are, are, if we're gonna go for? If we can get one color, 
What color are you guys going to go for? I'm going to go for go this black. brown. Brown? I'm going to go for the brown, yeah. Chris? Black. Black. I, I think, honestly, I'm, I'm turning the corner on the blue joints because I think we're going to look. That's such a uh, – It's a it pops – and and it's also just a nice you know you know blue dunk but I, they're going to be extremely hard to get and from what i've heard uh i think they're going to i mean they're going to be you know supreme and supreme shops are supreme's notorious for making it hard for people to get them from this their shop so let's see how it plays out yeah i mean that green one actually ain't if if you because that green that's a like that if you wear that green then you got a lot of stuff in that green because that's like a very specific green mm -hmm. you know what I mean it's not like an olive or it's not like a like a Kelly you know what I mean where there's mm -hmm. other people that use that color like this is like a little bright so if you wear that then that's like a that's a definite mm -hmm. oh like when people see it on your feet like they know it's the it's that lime supreme well it's just like if you if you can wear that green and you like that green I'm just saying you probably already have a lot of it in your closet. True. That's not like a regular green that you would just wear. Like you have no, to have it's that a already. mean green, baby. <laughs> yes, it's a mean green. So uh if when we take the loss, uh <laughs> how how upset are we gonna be here? I'm gonna be uh, cool. I'll be I'll be a little bit mad. <laughs> they took they crushed me. This they already broke me. It's already it's the first week, and that custom really hurt my spirits man because i i really wanted to like get in there and like start figuring out how to make my own customs i was telling you guys about it you know how i was like yeah. i was gonna like deconstruct the this the leather and turn it into like a suede and then stuff the tongues <laughs> i had so many ambitions and they said ha nah. thought <laughs> yeah man i mean you know just to pile on to the, the sadness is when i saw those food you are dunks the three of them uh the the pink and yellow one is just so aggressive Mm -hmm. the, then they have a mismatch pair where they give you like a Chicago half and then the yeah. other one's the only wearable one really so I was kind of bummed well is that that is that a, the official colors that's going to be dropping because yeah, those three yeah so that so that those middle two mm -hmm. um, those are mismatched that one in the end is the only real one you could do because even like these yellow and uh, pink is like a, a very aggressive and it's mismatched mm -hmm. ooh and then I'll go and get back just like the free advertising that uh, Dunk was getting uh, with the customs is, you know, even Fuji R was like, here's my custom. <laughs> Hurt our feelings. Hurt my feelings for sure. Also, yeah. by the way, I guarantee there's like tons of people that like they're taking their favorite celebrity ones and just doing that. And they're going to call it like blank X Nike Dunk. Oh, what you do think? you mean? So like if. If you go back down, Luke, so Fujiwara posted this one of all white with only the middle panel letting the swoosh pop. Like, those are an unofficial official Fujiwara custom dunk now. You know what I mean? Those are the Fujiwara dunks. So, actually, you know what, Lawrence? Going back to the original conversation we were having about people not buying stuff, I these ones I bet people will buy if they are able to make them and then resell because they'll be like, they'll have the Fujiwara screenshot and say Fujiwara Nike by you. I okay. I understand what you're saying. I get it. I I think they're uh, Nike is just basically now they're gonna put them in the influencers' hands to make you know the the hype even more, and that's it, bro. That's how this shit is gonna play out. I, it's disgusting, man. Very yeah, it's upset. so weird because you can now have unofficially official collab dunks. But I think uh, if I rem if I remember correctly, I remember with the Cactus Plant Air Force Ones. I remember we would see uh, we saw like ASAP Rocky wearing a pair of uh, black with the white lettering. Yep. Uh, Joe LaPuma, I think we saw wearing. And so, yeah, you know, when, when um, LeBron had uh, his pair of all white ones, we do see certain celebrities and people in the in the loop wear a color. And, yeah, sometimes it can be looked at as like, oh, this is the color that such and such wore. Um, will that happen with these dunks? I don't know, man. I don't know how this is going to play out, but I do understand what you're saying because we haven't usually what, what happens is when something like this comes out, like a dunk or like a customizable, you know, uh, I remember with the cactus plant, uh, blazers 
we saw influencers and celebrities wearing them the day or even before they went to Nike ID. These dunks, I haven't seen anyone being gifted them yet to promote on social media. Right, just a screenshot, right. just that just, shareable image. Yeah, so when yeah. you have those certain guys like LeBron or Victor Cruz or ASAP or whoever, you know, Travis, like guys that, you, you know, the Nike tends to go to and they we haven't even seen those on, on feet on social media. It, it makes me, uh, I don't know, it just makes me wonder like how Nike is, is doing this. Is this something that we're going to like, or is it going to be another drop? Or is this just like, that was it, and good luck. You know, now we're going to keep feeding this beast. I don't know, man. Um, I hope they figure it out, and I hope they make it so everybody can have them. You know what I mean? Like, with, with the amount of releases that are coming up, it doesn't really seem like... Now, all of, of you know, these releases, of course, are going to be of limited quantity, but they seem like they're kind of trying to make it easier but harder at the same mm-hmm. time. Because they're like, here's your customs, but they're hard to make. You know, but mm-hmm. I, I mean, hopefully they just expand the program. Fuck it, man. We going back to we going back to Jordans, man. I'm about not going back, but man, I ain't fucking with dunks this year, man. I'm so <laughs> you're done. Done, man. Give me a pair. Give me a pair of Carmines this year. Carmine sixes. Uh, give me my military blue fours. Uh huh. And I'm man. I'm I'm falling back, man. Might even fuck with the cool gray Elevens this year. I, even though I don't yeah. like patent leathers like that anymore, but dunk the dunks are like they're whoring themselves out and they're making it like. Ha ha! Like you, you got to jump through a billion hoops. Yeah, I'm I'm Team LeBron's this year. Vote LeBron, Le, vote LeBron baby. Speaking <laughs> of team, yeah. Speaking of team, LeBron's man. You guys saw that shit on uh on the sneakers app where you could vote for your favorite uh LeBron player edition that they're gonna release in the future. Yeah, yeah. This is actually because normally I'm like totally against like doing anything with sneakers, even though it's like such a necessity. Like I don't want to give them any more extra information or effort but like this was the first time i was kind of like oh this actually is like for us you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. i don't feel like there's a backwards like way of like nike's not trying to like get something extra out of us you know and they're like all right yeah you guys vote and we'll do it yeah it's it's a step in the right direction maybe i i mean it's it's not a coincidence that they chose lebron's over any other silhouette of course Mm -hmm. but you know you, you take what you can get with nike well, you've seen what they did. I mean, they, they have allowed people to vote. They used to do that with, with the Air Max Day stuff with the Sean Weatherspoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes when you give people the ability to vote and create, like, it, it doesn't always go well. And not it doesn't go well, like, but it just, like, I feel like sometimes you give the people too much power and then the shit that you really want to see come out doesn't come out. Mm-hmm. Even LeBron said some shit on I think on social media. He was like, "Wow, like I didn't think this was gonna lose or something like that." You know, like it was like the purple suede. Uh, yeah, the Zoom generation yeah. uh, ones. Wow, yeah, it got blown crazy. out of the water. You know, it's crazy when the what those are do- well shooting stars. I guess so. That makes sense. I'm also I'm also just happy that like I don't know I don't know if happy is the right word. But I do like how, like, they're keeping the voting strong. Like, the vote team is still there. You know what I mean? Like, all right, let's keep it going. Everybody keep your votes up. Let's just do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody's got their own little... They're just trying to get everybody on the app for as long as possible. Well, yeah. I mean, we see, we see what happens a lot of times when, when the app is interactive and you're you're able to vote and you're able to watch stories. Then, you know, Nike is like, hey, you have a shot to thank you for watching this. You have a shot to purchase. This. That's all. You know, that's right, why yeah. people do it. That's why people vote. That's why people they want early access to whatever. Wicked. <laughs> um, also, let me see. If we're going to still talk about sports here, uh, I don't know if you've been watching NFL today, but they did a whole Nickelodeon NFL thing. Yeah. Did you see that? It was a little crazy. I saw clips. Um, and my, my clips, I mean, I was like walking through my apartment when my roommates were watching it and I looked at the TV for a second. Um, it's really weird. I don't really know fully what's going on, but SpongeBob does have a weird lineage with the Super Bowl, at least, mm-hmm. and football because that halftime show shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you guys feel about it? I mean, I don't really know. Like SpongeBob's like in a weird adult cartoon now, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, if you had watched the the NFL games, you would have known that they were previewing the new TV show, uh, which I, that's why I, I checked in, obviously. 
Uh, <laughs> No, but actually, like they're they're revamping the show, and it looks like it's for like younger audiences again. Uh, like they're like doing like a weird animation thing where they're all like jellyfish catching camp or something. Anyway, the, the actual like announcers are like teenagers. If you if you score a touchdown in in their version of the game, like you could see like little animations of like the like the slime mm-hmm. being like sh- thrown onto the players. It's kind of cute. It's like oh look. Look at how 90s, like, this is really made for, like, 90s kids at this mm-hmm. point. Adult cartoon, yeah. This nostalgia yeah. shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's definitely trying to usher in a new generation, a young generation of kids to football. You know, obviously, uh, <laughs> can have, you know, you, you don't, you obviously don't want eight-year-old kids to see guys get stretched out in a game, you know, and they have to bring out the Madden ambulance or whatever. But, you know, I, I think it was cool to see that's the greatest that you it guys looks like that? this guy's getting taken to weenie hut jr <laughs> <laughs> you ever see the madden and remember the madden ambulance and, and john you ever played john madden guys back in like the 90s no, no? yeah oh my god it's the greatest like a dude would fucking die on the field in the video game and the ambulance would come out and run over more players and then pick up that player <laughs> take them in the ambulance and shit and i guess in the in the 90s the nfl was like okay this is a little much this is well, a the blitz was the real shit. Yeah, you gotta watch if you watch the video <laughs> on on YouTube and you see like if you type in Madden Ambulance from like ninety two, it is the greatest thing for the listeners out there because I know we have once again maybe I'm showing my age as the old guy on this podcast, but for you twenty year old motherfuckers that listen to this podcast. You will never understand the joy of playing John Madden 92 <laughs> and seeing your player get hit by ambulance. Greatest shit ever. Greatest shit ever. Uh, yeah, that. And then and then, like, I think it honestly it was that game that created Blitz. No, because then Blitz was the one where you can like drop kick motherfuckers. Yeah. Blitz was also done with. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For the That's audio incredible. listeners that we just watched um <laughs> an ambulance literally run over. <laughs> play with the play with the audio. Play with the yeah. Hold play on. with um, I'll, if you can. I have to if figure for, out how to don't worry don't, about it. Yeah, I don't think you can yeah, but whatever. It's just very funny. It is the greatest. You hear the the bone crunches when the, the ambulance runs over the place. It's the greatest thing ever. Please, guys, <laughs> do yourself a favor, YouTube Mad 92 ambulance. Greatest shit ever. But uh, yeah, it, it's gonna inspire a whole bunch of kids to play football. I think that's what this was for, right? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think it's weird where they try to help like the parents get the kids in. Like, I watch SpongeBob, you know, because there are some people with kids around the age that should be watching SpongeBob now, where like the parent watched SpongeBob, watching football together, be like, oh, I watched it. You know what I mean? Like that little, you know, like, making mm-hmm. the connection there. I'm sure that's mm-hmm. part of the collaborative effort on that, but. That's pretty crazy that SpongeBob has already like made it to, I guess, three generations now. Millennial, Zoomer, and then whatever the hell this current one is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oof. <laughs> I'm starting to realize our age, man. That's all correct. of us. All of us are getting to become the old heads. That's yes. right. We all end up the old heads. <laughs> all of us. And some of us end up in jail, like our good friend Alexander Wang. <laughs> <laughs> There's no easy way to transition into that, guys. <laughs> yeah, this this is more uh, weird, uh, uh, whatever the world is right now news, where uh, our young boy Wang um, got me too Are we still using that as the term for this? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will not allow the irony of his last name being wang uh escape the situation of this we didn't think you would (laughs) yeah i didn't think you would either chris not at all this is literally the only reason we're doing this topic i was saying before the mic i was i was saying like matt to our producer matt i was like matt we got to have chris talk about alexander wang (laughs) the fans want to know his take on the man named wang touching wangs I have no take. You should not do that. Although he's saying he didn't, but they all say that, you know? Yeah. Just the, the Wang, the Wang to Wang, you know, the Wang on Wang action. Wang on Wang action. Hey, <laughs> yes. Christ. This Akatsuki drip, though. <laughs> <laughs> this Akatsuki drip. Lawrence doesn't know what that is. This this anime no. drip right here might get us, might get him a pass. <laughs> 
Oof. Big, big old, big old L from the Alexander Wang camp camp today. Um, you know what, man? There's a weird thing that there's a bunch of rumors. You know, we're being on the inside a little bit. I'm not gonna say too much because I have no proof of any of this stuff, but a lot of people say a lot of major designers do that type of shit. I think it's like uh a uh a cultural part as weird as that is to say like it, the higher up you go in politics the weirder sexual stuff goes on it's kind of like that in fashion also fashion. so like hearing that shit is like not a surprise you know what i mean it's just could, anyone in a position of power you just start yeah. having to do freakier shit yeah i mean like mm-hmm. there's some people like within streetwear you're you always still be like that guy too and you're like i don't know but it's a rumor yeah i've heard some things <laughs> i've heard some things that's all <laughs> What's he? What's what's Travis Scott doing with those cacti drinks? I don't know. Keep keep your eye on him. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I want those to come out, man. I'm ready. I'm down for the, the the cactus seltzer. I believe it's March. I believe that's the release date for the cacti. Oh, yo, all 2021 summer, I am Travis Scott cacti. Imagine. I don't know if you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen on Instagram the people who are getting their f- friends and family uh, seltzers from him. Mm-hmm. Could yeah, you imagine couple, yeah. it came in that for like regular people too? Like it came with like a whole cooler and it cost you like, I don't know, like $180 for like, I don't know, it costs even more than that. Like $500 for just like a, like a 12 pack. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't spend. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I know you would like, I know you wouldn't spend, but if it came with like really nice, like a nice packaging and like, you know, maybe like a, like a, a cooler too that'd be nice the fact that travis scott is is fucking he hawked mcdonald's sandwiches and Fortnite games and 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 all this other shit in 2020 and then 2021 he says i'm gonna sell some spike seltzer like i'm just gonna do that and some would are, argue it's a, a year or two too late no i'm ha- i'm hard body all for it right now yeah travis travis name is so big that like yeah this is a. Uh, this is the right thing for him to do. The only reason I say that is because as somebody who's seen White Claw go from like, you know, what what the drink it was like two years ago to what it is like, I guess, during 2020. I mean, sure, it was 2020, but like I thought seltzers were dead. No, that is totally 100 percent a bro, a white bro frat drink now. Yeah, because you it's it's better for your uh digestive system there's like no sugar like uh, bros love that shit now yeah especially yeah the, the the bros that that don't have all the time in the world to work out and that's yeah they definitely <laughs> drink the the, the spiked seltzer oh, yeah shit. big time big time baby this is like the first time you've uh chris you've been like the white guy correspondent usually you're the design correspondent but today White guy what? correspondent. Uh, it's been hard to be the white guy correspondent for a little while now, Luke. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's, it's been very hard. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. I mean, I'll field some questions now if you want. <laughs> he said, I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> no, that, no, nah, yeah. That's just, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'll hold that position maybe when things uh, tie off a little bit, you know? Mm, tie off. Talking about the opioid crisis. Really good, Chris. Really good. <laughs> I, I just want to spend the rest of this podcast shitting on what those losers wore, yo. That was that's still grinding my gears, you know. Let's see. If oh, no, actually, <laughs> wait, actually, no, you know, you know what, Lawrence? Now that you say that, because I think I mentioned this in the group chat with you guys, I am so sick because I even saw it with the custom dunks. I saw people labeling their custom Nike ID, whatever they call it, Nike by you, screenshot dunks as dead stock. Oh yes. That is really? not what dead stock is. Yeah, like I, I, the word has sort of like um, changed over time, which is fine. But people are using so wrong that I'm like, do you guys even not know where it comes from? It's when a thing is dead stock, it means that a retailer couldn't sell it, so it's dead stock that they had in some storage. Mm-hmm. Oh, the stock is dead, as opposed to the the dead stock is dead. Got you. So people are literally they're buying brand new shoes, posting them online as dead stock. That is not what they're brand new shoes. Don't say when it also talks about age. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It talks about it. You can't. There's no dead stock retros either. Yeah, they're kind of it. But like that, it's the original one that didn't sell that was in storage. That was dead stock. Mm-hmm. 
A shoe from three weeks ago is not dead stock. A shoe that came out in 2017 is also not really dead stock. You know what I mean? Dead stock has like age to it. There's dust. Oh. Kids are selling screenshots and calling them dead stock. I'm like, yo, this is not, that's just, you say grind my gears, Lawrence. That's what uh, it triggered me, I guess. Cause yeah, I'm really getting annoyed. Cause also selling some of my shit on Poshmark. Like I do actually have dead stock shoes. And yeah. people are like, those aren't DS. I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? This is, this is literally the definition. It's <laughs> stock that I had that when I worked at Reebok, no one sold it. Like, we couldn't get rid of them. They had extra. I took them home. They sat in my mom's basement for 10 years. Now they're on Poshmark. Now they are on Poshmark. Huh. Hmm. I can't find any, like, good pictures of these people. They're all, I mean, it's all just jeans and MAGA hats. It's pretty trash. Oh, fuck, on. fuck those trash bags. Those fucking, un, those the disgusting can't dress for look at the look at look at this these these lose Yo, I can't Captain yeah. Kush Captain Kush bro guys listen I don't listen I'm gonna be honest with you I'm getting more mad just even looking at these clowns and I want to talk about I don't even want to give these guys any more shit I want to talk about the new administration that's gonna take over in a couple like days because I'm super excited for Biden and Kamala Harris uh you know, she was actually on the cover uh, of Vogue. Of Vogue, yep. yeah. It was a little controversy surrounding that shit, too, guys. I don't know Why? What saw. were people saying? So basically, uh, she did not. The, the cover photo that uh, Kamala, like, the, that they did, it was basically her and, like, some Chuck Taylors. You know, she loves Chuck Taylor. Yeah, she's a Chuck lady. And that was not the cover that was agreed upon by her team. It was supposed to be her in a powdered blue suit. But Vogue took the liberty of changing the cover without her their permission so basically the photo that they use on the cover was supposed to be like one of the photos inside of the magazine this one so yes so that was not supposed to be the uh that's supposed to be the cover that was used the the her and the the blue the powder blue suit yeah damn she's trying to steal hillary's drip no she didn't try she, bro she, she ain't trying to steal hillary's drip See, this is this is where you, as as the white guy correspondent, you guys got to <laughs> shut the fuck up and just <laughs> got to chill, bro. Already, yeah, bro, you just got to shut up. <laughs> so, yeah, I think uh, no, but it if this is see the thing and and what I've seen and what I've you know every time or a lot of the times where there's a a black person on the cover of Vogue, some, there's some type of controversy surrounding it. I remember LeBron James, I believe, was on the cover of Vogue, if I'm correct. And uh, and he was uh, there was some some uh, some drama with him because uh, he was carrying a white lady uh, looking like Godzilla, like King Kong. I remember that correctly. It was, oh, uh, yes. I remember that. Yeah. So it's, you know, Giselle, it was uh, LeBron and Giselle. And he's like got his mouth wide open and he's dribbling a ball and he's they got this white lady in his arms. And people were very offended by that. And I remember that, too. Yeah, I remember this. So it's like you have that. And it's like uh, it, there's like a, if you there's a, a, a comparison photo where it's like King Kong and he's got like destroy. And it's like this mad. Uh, it's, it's a it's a U.S. Army uh, photo that people were like, look at this. This is like the the, Im the symbolism in the image is very similar to that. I mean, based on what's just going on in the, you know, the 10 days we've been in 2021, I'm not surprised what people get mad at anymore. No, I think, but I think here's the thing. I think if, um, if you're, this is the vice president of the United States of America. And if she, and if her team decided that that's the photo and they agreed upon it, and then for Vogue to call this audible, I yeah. think that that's a problem because once again, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm sure she, you know, I, I guess, you know, she, as the vice president, you have this, this image that you want to portray. And it's like, you know, the Chuck, the converses are great, but the, the cover, it's like, you could have, the, the bet, the better cover was the powder blue suit. Yeah. In my opinion. Um, yeah. Just stuff like that. It's unfortunate that it happened in this instance and then the bond thing or whatever, that stuff happens not with Vogue, but that's shit like that happens all the time. Just mm -hmm. within, like, you know, people trying to make the better call. Like, you know, literally, like, uh, 
A Life is doing this stuff with uh, HBCU schools. So we're like doing like these because you know they did the Malcolm X, they did all the Black History names, mm-hmm. which then the profits they brought back to some of the families where they could or the estates or whatever. So Trey, the own one of the owners, he hooked up with the HBCU schools. So we're doing it with Champion, and they're going to be sold at Urban Outfitters. I might be snitching a little early on this, but whatever, it's cool. We've been posting it. So, but Urban Outfitters, yo, they literally, I gave them all the art, right? So I was like, yo, here's the art. Here's all the schools. We have it laid out. You don't got to touch nothing. It's not, it's art. It's not editable shit. Like you put that on there. Yo, and they came back and they changed the whole shit. I had to be like, I like literally day of, like she's approving the art. I'm like, yo, you can't do that. Like you have to, I gave you the art. It's our shit. Don't change it. You know what I mean? So like, it's crazy that how often this stuff actually happens. You got to save it. But man, it's like, on a platform that big with like the president, uh, vice president, like going into it, like that was a bad call. I don't know why they did that. That's that's what I'm yeah. saying. I think there's there's supposed to be a, a level of, you know, this is the shit that that you know it, it shows like disrespect to a, you know on a certain on, on a on a major level because it's like this is the vice president, this is the team, their team did this with your magazine, and you you kind of have a, a dicey history with African Americans and on the cover yes. of your magazine. And this is just another, like, okay, yep. you're gonna do what you're gonna do because, like I said, I mean, I, I I think both photos are are amazing, but I think the if you're gonna do the Kamala photo, it needs to be the like the you know from the you know the 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 upper half. Just do it how they t- said to do it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's uh you know, I, I, but I love you know I think it's. I, yeah, I'm, I'm just I, I like I'm just a little a little. No, little I, f- I feel you. Mm-hmm. Um, I also work at a life now. I should probably just say that flat out. So the bias is transparent. Congratulations. Oh, what? Congratulations. We had. Thank no you. Idea. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and you guys knew for a long time. So uh, just, I mean, just to maybe clear the air, bring everyone up to speed. So I met them back like in 2014. And I've sort of been like on the bench for them designing for like a long time. But, you know, with COVID and sort of how things people left at like a weird time and then COVID hit and I was around. So and I needed a full time. So it just kind of worked out. But there I am. though. That's my nine to five now, baby. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, uh, you know, legacy brand for sure. Um, And I'm happy to be there. So everything this year coming out, I'm going to have my uh, I had my hands on it. So, you know, if that means anything to you guys, you know. Just take that in and then purchase some A-Life. Mm-hmm. Purchase some A-Life, people. Support the homie. That's mm-hmm. right. All right. Where can we uh, Where can we find you, Chris, on Instagram uh, or on all social media platforms? Uh, at Not That Cheney and then also at A-Life New York. Go there, too. You know? Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. I'm Trevisus on Instagram and Twitter. Um, LZD325. And our producer is three meanie meanie. three meanie three meanie baby all right well uh this is another episode of the sub podcast thanks for listening everybody uh we also have a discord jump in that discord it's a lot of fun we we get into arguments with everybody all the time uh but like in a fun way i'm level 20 uh we have level systems uh once you reach 36 you get to evolve into a charizard it's pretty exciting (laughs) that's right (laughs) that's true That's all. Have a good night, everybody. Stay safe. Mask up. Do your thing. Have a good one. Peace. Peace.